Welcome to shallwelearn.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use Eclipse to create a Hello World project using Web Google Web Toolkit. Right click on new right click on not new right click on click on this Google sign and do a new web application project. And at the project name type Hello World. At the package, you can leave it blank, or you can give your your special package name. I'm gonna put com. Shall we learn? And for the other option, just leave them as default settings. So, assume that you already got GWT installed in your clips. If you have not, you can um, follow my other tutorial to set it up. And this also it will. This plugin will generate the sample code and we'll see what it looks like after it's been generated. It has been generated, so you see a project called Hello World. And you can open, you can expand the source directories. See that there's client package, server package, and the share package. The client package is used is is used for um the JavaScript generation. The well, or in other words, these Java files will be generated to JavaScript and the server package, these will stay Java and the share, this will be generated to JavaScript and it will be used by the client in the JavaScript form, it will also be used by the server in the Java form. To build, and this is actually al already a working project, the plugin automatically create these um, these files and also it created a war directory for you and this war directory this war is the one that's going to be deployed to the um, the server your external server or the embedded jetty server so if you double click the hello world.html this one is not very interesting all it has is the web application so it has a title and now and the other the other table the other uh, elements that would make more sense when you when we look at it so without let's see you can build this into uh, and build it and run it so right click on hello world do you go all the way down to Google and select GWT compile and then hit compile your console should then start printing out slowly the compile modules, you know, the compile trace. It will take a little bit of time. Um, we'll wait until it's complete and then we can deploy it and run it. It has completed, so you will see that it says compilation su succeeded. Now one thing you could do to see more, um, more output is you can you go to Google again, GWT compile, and then in the lock level, Right now, it's uh, the default is setting to info. You can set it to all, and it's going to be very chatty when it compiles. So, I'm going to let it compile again. You can see that it's spewing out all these um, information while it's compiling. And if you are having problem with your compile, this is a good, a good way to to see what were there. Again, the compilation with the all trace enabled has completed and succeeded. So now we're ready to run. Again, right click on Hello World and then select Run As. And do go to Web Application. What this would do is that it will automatically select the Jetty in the Jetty built-in server or right here, Initialize App Engine Server. That is Jetty. So you can see some of the red traces. Let's go back. Some of the traces says Jetty 6.1.x. You can also um, create your own, uh, add your own external server and have it deployed to that server. But for now, we'll just stick with Jetty and go back to the deployment mode. The deployment mode tells you which URL to use to click. So you can say that this URL says hello world.html and it's using the GWT code server, which is binding at port at the local host IP address and it's using port number 9997. So double click. So this is the the page. 
and then wait a little while it takes a little time um, for it to load the first time and just type in something so you can type in say I'm gonna type in my name Jessica and hit send a pop-up will come up and says sending name to the server Jessica and the server reply hello Jessica and this also give you some information about what Google App Engine is running and looks like and also give some browser your browser information so I'm using um, I'm using Chrome so it, it, if it detected and 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 then all the other and also the other additional information hit closed you can try a little bit and say say Tony hit send again it says hi Tony 